Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here, bringing you another math video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take you through video, uh, take you through an example of using the integral zero theorem to find the exact roots of a cubic. So um, the integral zero theorem is basically a way of solving a cubic, whether it's factoring it completely or sketching the graph. It's a way of getting the x-intercepts, factor solutions, things like that. So the way we do it is we pick on this little number at the end, so this is 6. So this 6 actually gives us some possible factors of it. So I usually write out my possible factors. So the possible solutions that we can get for this guy are the factors of 6. So the factors of 6 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and plus or minus 3. So we take the negative and the positive of those things, of the, of the number that we have here. So then what we have to do is, knowing these possible factors, we have to check them to see which ones actually work. So we take the numbers, negative 1, and then, um, let me see, positive 1, P of negative 2, and then P of 2, and then P of negative 3. Just like that, and then p of 3. So we take our possible factors, and we actually sub these numbers back into this uh, polynomial. So uh, if I'm, if you guys are like me, I have a TI calculator, so I can go ahead and sub it in to my y equals function and actually get that back. So then what all I do is I go to my table, and I go ahead and check these. So this is what you would get if you sub these numbers in. So I'm going to cheat a little bit, of course. So p of negative 1 is 12, p of negative p of 1 is uh, negative 6, p of 2, or sorry, negative 2, p of 2 is negative 6, p of negative 2 is 10, so I got nothing so far, p of negative 3 is 6, so my last hope, p of 3 is 0. So, this is my solution that I get from using the integral 0 theorem. So the next step is now to use synthetic division to be able to find the other other solutions. So what I do is I take my my x-intercept, my solution, and then synthetically divide this guy. So I'll do 1, negative 1, negative 8, and then 6. If I do it correctly, I know this should be 0 right here. Okay. <clears throat> so I bring down my 1 right here. And I go 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 8, time, or negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So we're, so we're in business. That works. So now what we need to do is we need to look at this quadratic. So that's x squared plus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic that does not factor. Generally, when we say exact roots in a question, that means that you're going to going to have to use quad form, and it's going to have to be reduced down. So quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So then I go ahead, sub this 2 in here for b, so negative 2 plus or minus square root 2 squared minus... 4, a is 1, c is negative 2, all divided by 2 times 1, so it's 2. So I get negative 2 plus or minus, so 2, uh, two squared minus this guy, so that's going to be um, 12 underneath, all divided by 2. So then i got to break up this root, I'm running out of space here, so negative 2 plus or minus. So it's Breaking up 12, so 12 is 4 times 3, so square root of 4 is 2, so it's 2 root 2, or sorry, 2 root 3. I'll divide it by 2, and that becomes negative 1. So I divide both of these, just the number out front here, that's it. Negative 1 plus or minus root 3. <coughs> Excuse me. So, make sure you just divide the number in front of the root, guys, not what's underneath. So that's my um, roots right there. So my Roots are x is equal to 3, then it's negative 1 plus root 3, and negative 1 minus root 3. 
All right, guys, there it is. That's how you use the integral zero theorem to find the exact roots of a polynomial. And uh, the integral zero theorem is very useful for solving polynomials, for sketching graphs and things like that. So uh, thanks for watching this video. If you find this helpful, share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys in class. Thanks for watching.